and why. Oh. <laughs> We're Amelia and Robbie. We left our lives in the city and spent every penny we had on an abandoned shepherd's house on the top of a mountain in Spain. Join us on our journey as we build our dream homestead. We've been going to the toilet in the wild for the past three years, but now times are changing. We're currently on day 572 of building our brand spanking new compost toilet, which is going to change our lives forever. <laughs> Last time, we poured the roof, made stairs going up to the toilet. Wow, that's amazing. And began making a reed bed. Come and help Papa. Yeah. Beep, beep. Boom, boom, boom. If you watched the last video, you might have assumed we had finished the stone staircase leading up to the toilet. But if you know anything about Robbie, you'll know he loves concrete more than life itself, and he wasn't quite finished yet. Oh, it's going to rain today. No. No. Wow, Sage, that's great. That would make you happy, no? Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. I'm trying to be incredibly appreciative every time I walk up. And yeah. Today, every time I walk, I've gone really slowly and be like, wow. Yeah. This is great. I wonder when I'll stop doing that. You built these amazing steps whilst I was away and of course you're un poco loco and you think that in the next rain they're all going to fall down so now I'm about to pour some concrete you've made some kind of steel structure in there ginormous rocks and more concrete is there ever enough concrete? no What's that? Are they my kitchen scissors? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reinforced steels, big stones. Who tells me that's physics? Man. Man, yeah. Mansplaining. Explain. Explain, yeah. Mansplaining. Here or here? I don't want you to put the olive anywhere. Yes, well, I am putting the olive. How is it? Where does the olive grow? Right, just up 
Yeah, if right. I put it there, it would the go digger, perfect. The digger, no. the digger's wheel is going to be like 10 centimetres off this rock. It's here. Perfect, so I'll put it here. At the base of that like crumbly wall that's like about to fall down. All but right. then, so what? Walking up your stairs, it's going to have to grow right over your head, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be beautiful. Where else does it grow? Mama's going to dig. Okay. You're going to dig at the base of that crumbly wall. Baby, like this wall, man. It's a tiny olive, that's what's so great about it. I can't believe you're doing it right now. Like, I spent my whole life, like, putting concrete and steel in things to keep it up. And you're just here digging at the base of this four meter high crumbly wall that I'm, like, just about keeping, like, in place. Aren't I clever? A tree that is one foot high is going to do absolutely nothing yes. for about 25 years. <laughs> By that point, the wall would have fallen down and hopefully crushed your little olive. <laughs> and then I can put some concrete in the wall. Concrete crushed an olive or crushed me? Concrete and steel. Olive out the ground, see? How are you going to protect the olive from the mouflons? Easy. How? I never thought about that yet. Wow, you're really going for it, aren't you? I can't believe you're actually doing it. The roots, are they not going to like destabilise my nice concrete stairs? Have you thought about that? I don't really think very much. Uh, so how are you going to protect it from the move on? I haven't decided yet. Hello. Look how pretty it looks. Wow, I know that you want me to compliment your stairs, but I really like the olive. Plants that you put in them. More babies! More babies! Uh -oh. Well, you know how huge this sage is in the garden, and I found this little bit. We can put this in the ground and it's going to grow big. Oregano. Galada something. I'm not sure. It's called a galadia. Yeah. Were you talking? I wasn't filming yet because you <laughs> hadn't told me to. <laughs> me and Sage are going to plant a calendula. Oh, big hot. Oh, we finished the stairs and it's pretty exciting and they look really beautiful. Rah!
so yeah, I started digging. And yeah, this is lower than I thought it was been. So that might be like 20 centimeters lower. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we just cut the top off that one. Run the hose pipe, a tube coming out the side here. Like um, a little bit down and it just can just run over the top of that. The excess liquids from the bin into the first tank where we'll have the gravel and the reeds tube into the second tank where we'll have floating water lilies and fish. We'll have a tap with an overflow um, which we can turn on now and again to irrigate. <laughs> hey. Pipe goes in. So we put the two tanks in and filled them up with a bit of water and one of them is leaking. Oh. So all last night, to my great joy, Robbie talked about it. <laughs> and I think we're going to buy a new one. <laughs> I think we just decided we just didn't want any risk of any of the contaminants seeping into the ground. Robby? How's it going? It's going great. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm just draining all the dead animals out of this. Uh, oh my gosh, what? Is there a rat in it? I think there's all sorts of animals in it. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'd say nearly. Great, let's go. Nothing like secondhand, uh, <laughs> nothing like secondhand freaking <laughs> merchandise, is there? <laughs> Oozing. This has been a lot of work, <laughs> like just getting this thing. Anyway, secondhand, it's good, right? We're reusing, recycling, recycling, like, you know, we're an inspiration. <laughs> This time we're going to make sure that this one does not leak before we drag it up all those stairs. <laughs> it's miserable. It's freezing. And I just want to be in bed. And Robbie won't let us go to bed, will he? No, we've got to move rocks. What are we doing? All right. You know, you got me out here. It's freezing. What are we actually doing? Now I've put the depositor in, mm -hmm. and it's like not leaking, so that's great. That's the thing. And this is what we have to compete with today. A wailing two-year-old. Please. Ah. I'm gonna collect stones. I'm gonna throw them as hard yeah. as I can at your head. Yeah, and then I'll and put them in here. Yeah, if you're not passed out already. Okay. Out. Oh. Oh. Are there tears coming out of my eyes? 
the sun! Ah. Right, what's the first stone going to be though? Whatever is going to cross yeah. all three of those, and if you put this on there, it's not going. Well, this one's nice. nice. Can you do it with like oh, something bright? You see? <laughs> Freaking permanent markers in your book. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> And Sage were just heading out. Was it a bit no noisy up here? Why was it noisy up here? Because Papa had the concrete mixer on. And why, Papa, do you have the concrete mixer on? Because last time I checked, we were just building a wall. Well, you know, I like putting steel in things. So. You do like putting steel in things. He knows how to make a job hard, doesn't he? You know how to make a job harder? Well, fortunately, me and Sage are going out and you're going to have to do it on your own. Do you not think it's a good idea? Oh, it's a fantastic idea. Oh, why not? Why not? Right, we're going to get in the car now. Say bye-bye, papa. thing you can see is Ibiza. We should go one day. A little day trip. I'd love to see how many wild boar are in here at night. <laughs> it would be insane. Free, la free cell. Do you think if I threw this at your head, it would hurt? <laughs> These ones look good. This is such a cool little pool, isn't it? Why aren't you doing this bit? I've got to look after the baby. <gasps> Watch out! Oh. <laughs> it smells bad. Yeah, it does. You're making a real song and dance of this, aren't you? Bear grills down here. 
You've got ninja skills, isn't it? I can't say you've got ninja skills. That's what you need for a homestead. You need ninja skills. Can I steal some of your stuff? That's a it's real nice one there. Where'd you get that one from? I'm going to take that one from my wall. You mean the stones that me and Sage <laughs> handpicked from across the land? Yo, you've got a tractor. I spent to do a days. We spent days with the tractor bringing them here and hand unloading them. Oh, how hard. Put them on your tractor, drive and bring them. I'm definitely taking that one. We're going to finish this wall. We are. Yeah, but so I don't feel stone. like we can both be creatively yeah, wall you, builders. Yeah, you work over there. I'll I work on one bit. Hi. He's picking them up and just kind of like looking at them and putting them down. <laughs> Pick it. Put it down. Oh, we're working together, aren't we? Really? Yeah, it's nice. We work together. We yeah. do anything together. We're always fighting. Jesus. <laughs> what do you think if I just put this little one there and they're really. It's good. I'm like. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Yeah, wow, is this the pace that you work at? Sure! <laughs> to just shift my way a bit. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful at this time? Like, so dappled and pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. We've got a bin, we've got two reed beds. I don't know why this one doesn't have gravel in it. Why does this one not have gravel in it? Well, is this that... isn't gravel, is this bubbles? Anyway, today we're just gonna fit this overflow pipe, aren't we? I don't quite know how to do it, but I was gonna screw that in there, right? Yeah. That's the overflow into this tile and it would like... Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> do you wanna see the finished overflow pipes? What? Is that like a pressure reducer? Alright, that's a that's a filter. Another little filter there on that one. Nice. All day job. Well yeah, it did take all day. <laughs> kind of professional no? Very professional. <laughs> Everything you do looks professional. Down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? That's thicker than that one, you noob. No, like, but it's pointy. I can't actually lift it, like, up. <laughs> Let me f flush with that oh, one. Sorry, alright. How's that looking? It looks kind of cool. Yeah. Alright, we're trying to go in and have dinner. Drill. Mm -hmm. It's the bolt thief. Mama! <laughs> it's cute. Huh? He wanted to be like you. Mm -hmm. He was carrying all your hair bubbles around going, Papa, Papa, trying to put them in his hair. Do you look like Papa now? <laughs> The level of engagement from him is like 
unwavering. I don't think he's even blinked since the truck got here. <laughs> Ah, oh, Robbie, are you proud? This looks beautiful. And what is it that you're doing right now? It's all like floppy, like around the lip, like, well, where it exploded as well. Like it's all deformed, like over here. I'm pinning them back, like with wire, tying them onto rocks down here. Um, in a very precarious stiffening up the edge, right? So when I pour the concrete in. <laughs> Are you excited to see it? Yeah. It's quite early, Robbie. <laughs> you were like a kid at Christmas. We woke up this one. Come and look. Come and look. Just hope it's what I want. Otherwise, then you'll be in trouble, won't you? Drum roll. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Yes, sir. It's very idyllic underneath that olive tree. Opens, don't worry. Yeah. When I went to meditation this morning, everyone went, Oh, so how's the toilet? Are you enjoying using it? I went, Oh, what? You think the toilet's finished? Do you think the toilet's finished? What? And I'm gonna varnish this. Fuck. Put another layer of varnish on tomorrow. <coughs> I have high standards for, our, for the quality of our projects. I cannot. We've actually got that much gravel here. And the capacitors. Is that like a problem? We'll just do what we can. Okay. And off.
you want to come and put these rocks in the reed bed then? Do you want to come and put the rocks in? Hey, 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 hey. Sheep. Nearly midday, and all we've managed to do is scare off sheep. And they're all like in the pond, you know, eating all the, the grasses we planted. Will you ever stop? What's hilarious about what you're doing right now is this is literally a water tank to clean. Shit. I accidentally filled it full of concrete. Yes, but nothing's worse than. Shit. I'm gonna put you in there. Me and Sage are about to go for a nap. No, 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 don't they yet. Robbie's mum has just turned up. The saint that is Tessa. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Have you brought Hello. lots of things? I've just brought gorgeous <laughs> plants for you. For your oh my channel. gosh, tomatoes Melons. and peppers. Melons. Tomatoes. <gasps> and a horse manure. And a bale of straw. But where's the most important thing? Where are the fish? Yeah, yes, well, the fish. <laughs> They had a terrible ride, it was being both. You know, I thought they were all going to arrive dead because they were being sloshed about on the bumpy road. Look, they pretty? Oh, only six. Sage is going to love them. He says they, they grow, but not too big, not yeah. that big. Robbie. And they like a bit of... I think once there is... I think the most important thing is what a good advert for Ford Fiesta, this whole thing is. Yes. Eight tapas. And I had these on my knee. As I was driving, trying to go as quietly as possible, and the water was going like this. Yes, so I think that was a record, that one. <laughs> Other people would just like put those in a plant pot and like put them in the corner. Wow. Cool. <laughs> what is this? Oops. One, 
two, three, four. Papa's gonna go up there, okay? And I'm gonna push the tube through and you have to look here, okay? And you tell Papa when it comes through the hole. Can you see it? Can you see the tube, Sage? Can you tell me when you can see it? Can you see it? Don't eat the sand, Sage. Where is it at the end? Where's the end? Yep, can't do it. You got it in? Why, do you think this is like blunt or something? It's not very good, is it? Going round and around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we gonna put them in here? Tip. Yeah, we're gonna tip and put them in here. No. Oh, you wanna keep them in the book? Mm. Should we tip them in then? No. Okay, Mama's gonna tip them in. No. The time has come to put the fish in their new home. No. A little bit longer. <laughs> Should we tip them now? No. Very optimistic. Go <laughs> tip, go. No. No. Not yet. Look, we've made a nice house for them, so they've got plants. And then we've put stones in it, and there's a little cave under there. No. No. So we hope you're very happy. What will you do? Be on my knee, will you hurry the f up? <laughs> Have a nice life in your body! Go, oh, yay! Oh, so much to see, so much to do! Yay, fish! <laughs>